Welcome Cancers, my name is Dee, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, this is going to be for January 17th through the 24th. Keep in mind that this is a general read, so the messages may or may not resonate. Um, I just noticed some cards were flipped over. If you are interested in something more tailored to your specific situation, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. That will take you to my website where you'll be able to book a personal reading. Um, I just ask that you give me 24 hours before I respond. Um, kind of have a lot of things going on this week, but I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning in with me. So this is for Cancer. Man, I literally just forgot. <laughs> for Cancer. All right. One more shuffle. I actually have Cancer somewhere in my chart because I swear I relate to you guys way too much. But let's go. One more shuffle. See what's going on with my Cancers. All right. So January 17th through the 24th. This could be vice versa. So take the message as it resonates. Keep what does, toss what doesn't. All right. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You don't have to be, but this is the ending of something. If it's not an ending, it's a transformation. And this has something to do with your stability. There might be an ending in your stability um, in your home life. If not, something definitely needs to be transformed. All right, and the wheel. You know what's ironic? All the signs that I've been doing for this week have this card. So it's kind of like a mutual energy for the collective. But I see someone getting thrown out here of the wheel. Maybe there was three people involved at one time, but th that is no longer the case. Um, this is destiny. This is something that you can't really avoid. It was kind of ordained and already written in the stars. If things have been going bad for you, um, you should find some solace in knowing that things will take a turn for the better. Yeah. I also see a lot of red here. So it's it has something to do with the stability around you, stability in your home life, work life. Um, stability in your emotions, followed by the seven of wands. Either you or someone you're dealing with is on the defensive right now. This person, um, they're kind of taking actions towards blocking other people off. Wands are actions, um, involves passion as well. Once again, I see a lot of red in this. This has something to do with your stability. If you're not defensive, the person that you're dealing with is defensive at this time. And someone from the past. If this is already your relationship, um, you could be with someone that you knew each other since either childhood or adolescent age. And there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love, passion, growth. If this isn't you or your partner or if you're just single... This could be someone that's returning to you, or this could be someone that's just jumping into this mix right now. But usually this card doesn't come out unless this is a relationship that involves someone you've been with for a while, or someone actually coming in to offer this to you, or for you to offer it to someone else. Could be vice versa again. All right, let's keep going. The two of pentacles. So you might have been juggling something which had to lead to you cutting something out. One of these aspects had to be cut out, which led to someone getting thrown off the wheel. If you're not juggling money, you're definitely juggling people, but there was an imbalance here. And this imbalance had to be corrected, whether you did it or not. Could be the universe came in and was just finally fed up and decided to take charge of the situation because this card the clouds it usually signifies like the universe or like a higher power making things um move along because they were kind of stuck there for a minute okay i'm gonna take that 
But we're still holding on tightly to something. If we're not being selfish and greedy at this time, you could be selfish with your emotions. Could be holding on tightly to money. Um, this is someone, something in the earthly realm. Um, something you can taste, see, touch, feel. And it also involves this juggling that's right next to it. So after having an imbalance, it led to holding on too tightly to something. But the thing is, when we hold tightly to something, we kind of like force the universe to make you let it go. So try not to hold on too tightly to anything, a job, a person, a situation, emotions. Always let things go. Don't hold on to them too tightly. All right. So for the seven of wands here, we have, ooh, I'm not going to read that in reverse. The Queen of Rods, this is someone who is passionate, driven, um, they're sexy, they know what they want, they're kind of a no bullshit um, person, they have a lot to offer, they're really action driven. And the fact that it came out in reverse, I don't know why, I just felt the need to turn it back around, it kind of tells me that no one's really making a move right now, whether it is you or the person that you're dealing with, you could be in a stalemate. Um... But no one's making any moves. Why? Maybe we're just taking a pause because we're not ready to do so. And I feel like the reason why we're not making moves is because we're in the healing stage right now. See all this yellow? Yellow. Yellow. Yellow pinnacle. Yellow background. Yellow. It has a lot to do with healing. So be patient with yourself. Oh, excuse me. Because right now... You're kind of in a healing stage, but you'll come out of it when the time is right. Just make sure you make the right decision for yourself and everyone involved. Um, just know that if you did do something wrong to someone, that karma is definitely going to come back. If someone did something wrong to you, justice definitely will be served. And in regards to this, whoa, a lot of yellow. And in regards to this, someone from the past... Um, either an adolescent relationship, a lot of feelings here. Someone might be feeling a little bit wounded. This person's been through a lot. Um, they had to kind of fight for where they've been at right now. And you're not really in the best of... I don't, you might not be feeling yourself. You're kind of in a vulnerable state right now. And this person is facing towards not making a, a move or decision. So this tells me that you're a little bit wounded right now, but this isn't going to last for long because this queen of wands, whether this is you, could be male or female, um, it's not really gender specific, the roles will reverse and you will go back to knowing what you should do if you are in a stalemate right now. Just be patient with yourself and try not to feel like this wounded warrior and don't use you know that victim mentality either. I'm going to use another deck just to see if we can find out more information. All right. I almost said what's going on with my Scorpio. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Seriously, though. But this is for Cancer. All right, Cancers. If they're not a Scorpio, they could have Scorp in their either moon or rising. So why is this ending or this transformation here? Because of victory. Um, regardless of what's going on, it's going to lead to victory. These two people up here, um, they're kind of just enjoying themselves. This one person's looking at this gesture getting thrown off like you peasant. Like That's just the vibe I get off of there. <laughs> and the magician, we're manifesting something. Right after this wheel turns, it's going to lead to manifestation. What this manifestation is of is walking away. Someone's trying to manifest walking away. It could be walking away from two people. And this person, they're not happy to walk away. It's like they're almost forced to make the hard, difficult decision to do so. And with this magician here, I don't know why I felt the need to say this, but someone could also be a little bit manipulative. So be careful. Um, if this is you, try not to manipulate anyone because that will come back to you. 
But yeah, someone is trying to manifest walking away or walking towards someone from the past that they already know. And it's ironic too, because this card keeps coming out for all the zodiac signs. So I feel like a lot of reconciliations are going on. With this someone from the past, it could be a Leo that you're dealing with. If not, this situation is going to muster up. It's going to require you to muster up a lot of strength. Um, there might be someone that is in need of, I don't know, just someone to listen to, someone to kind of like console them because they've been through a lot. And with this situation, the world kind of lets me know that a new cycle is going to start. And anything is possible in this relationship. If this is because of a relationship, a job, um, it'll bring a lot of opportunities to you. In regards to this juggling that was happening here, that led to an ending. Justice will be served. If you're not dealing with the Libra, um, things definitely will be balanced out. This is like divine intervention because um, this person is not from the earthly realm. And these two people are being, like, indoctrinated. And if that's not the case, then there'll definitely be balance restored in this situation. Oh, that's too many cards. So, in regards to that four of pentacles, holding on too tightly to something, we have... The queen of pentacles. Ooh. See, this woman's face right here, someone is in the background that's just like angry and upset right now. Why are they upset? Um, you could be holding on too tightly to something. You could be dealing with the earth sign also, someone who's really grounded, but this woman's not, this woman or man, they're not really happy right now. Why are they not happy? Let's see. Because of some toxic aspect that just got thrown out because it's right on top of the Wheel of Fortune. So something toxic just got removed, whether it's in your life or it's in the life of the person that you're dealing with. And it has someone feeling angry now all of a sudden. I feel like this is like that hater, like a low-key hater that you're not really like aware of. In regards to not taking action... We have here the Five of Cups. So you may be feeling sad or disappointed because something didn't go quite as you pleased. Um, instead of looking at things from a glass half full perspective, you have this person crying over spilled milk just because two cups are knocked over, but they are unaware that there are still three cups up here. So if something did end, there is an opportunity to reconcile or try to, you know, just make things a bit better. But you won't notice that until you kind of get out of this heavy energy. And fives are usually heavy energy. And this has to do something with your emotions, something with the matters of the heart. In regards to this wounded warrior card right here, which I take it as you are probably feeling a little bit wounded because you're looking at this lack of movement. In regards to this Wounded Warrior card, um, you might have your chair laid out for someone to come sit in it. <laughs> I've never even said that like this, but yeah, if there's not a child involved, someone definitely has a pet. And just because this says the King of Pentacles, it could be talking about a man or a woman. And this is someone who's really grounded, nurturing. Um, they have their finances together. What else? Let's see. And this person's just kind of like waiting for their other half to sit on the throne. That has you feeling kind of wounded. Uh, maybe things didn't go as you planned. But nonetheless, there is someone here who's really nurturing, whether this is you or the other person. And the way I see it, let me just get one more card so I'm not making things up. Someone's at a crossroads. They have to make a decision about something. This has you feeling like you're in your head a lot about this. But it's 
time to choose a direction. There is now a fork in the road. And now you have to make a decision. Either way, this decision will lead to po new possibilities in terms of the matrix in the world. A lot of possibilities, things that you are capable of doing. Try not to be in your head too much. But this is definitely something that is going to require some contemplation on your end. But yeah, Cancer, um, that was for January 17th through the 24th. I'll be back next week with the energies for that. Let me know what you thought. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. And thanks for tuning in with me. Have a good night.